Hello everyone, today I thought I'd make a video about how to use reference, reference management um, software. The one I'll be using is Mendeley. I remember when I did the research workshop, um, there was a missing part. We talked about how to read research, how to collect it, how to collect and analyze data, but we did not talk about references and reference management. I did make a part about using EndNote, but I realize, of course, EndNote is not a free program, it's really costly, and it's much better probably to uh, use free software like Mendeley or Z Zotero. Um, I haven't really tried Zotero yet, but um, for the research I'm currently doing, um, uh, Mendeley has been really, really great, and so I thought I'd make a tutorial about how to use Mendeley uh, for my colleagues who of course, are, many of them are struggling, as I know, with citations. Now, um, you may be asking, why should I use reference management softwares? Why can't I just make citations manually? Uh, just, you know, get the author titles, the title, the link, and just put it manually with footnotes. And the answer is that you can, but it's, it's really, really a lot of struggle. Uh, when you have large numbers of citations and you will, during the writing of your article, you will change some references, you will alter the, uh, the order of citations or of, of paragraphs, and during that process, many of your citations will be crumbled up and they will be, uh, you will be really confused a lot. So it's highly advised against using uh, manual citation style. I know I did it and I regret it, uh, regretted it a lot. Um, I can't really count the number of times that I've done my citations in the, in the wrong way without properly using reference management softwares, and this resulted in catastrophes and uh, in many wrong uh, things during my citation, which I had to spend even more time fixing. So my advice to everyone, when you are starting research, please uh, spend at least two or three hours getting familiar with reference uh, management softwares, whatever it is. I recommend Mendeley. So whatever you choose, spend a couple of hours with it, uh, becoming proficient using that software, and trust me, you will save a lot of time in the future. Uh, and you will prevent many, many uh, mistakes that you know could happen along the way. So now let's get started. Okay, so let's start by going to the website. This is Mendeley, mendeley.com. And so you'll find it here. It's uh, it's a software owned by Elsevier, and you can download it right here, and then create a free account, after which you, you will be able to use it. Um, I will not be covering this process because it's easy. Now, let's go um, to the Mendeley software which, the, which we downloaded, Mendeley Reference Manager. Um, now, before you are able to use this, of course, um, I assume you will be writing your article using Microsoft Word. So, um, to be able to use it with Microsoft Word, you will have to install the plugin, the Microsoft plugin. So, you can go here to Tools and to install Mendeley site for Microsoft Word. So, please do that. Um, there is also this Mendeley Web Importer. I'll talk about it in a little bit, in a while. So, let's ignore it for now. So, you have now this, um, this library. This page shows you, shows you the articles that you have, which you will be able to cite in your document. Um, okay, so let's go to our manu manuscript. Go to research, meningitis. I have this paper that I'm currently um, editing before we submit it for peer review. Hopefully soon it'll, it will be published. So during my uh, editing process, I thought, why not hit two birds with one stone and make this tutorial? So let's go to meningitis eighth draft okay so um so yeah let's assume you know this is our document which uh, which we have written and we want to add citations to it of course i've already added the citations here but let's assume we have more things to cite um so if we go here and if we talk about let's say you know meningitis is blah 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 several risk factors exist uh most commonly it's caused by viruses and there is vaccination, which helps a lot, okay? And um, it prevented, you know, a lot of uh, infections and it proved um, the incidence rates, etc. So now, if we want to add a citation here, okay? So let's delete this one. 
and let's click here just you know let's go and to the references and you see here the Mendeley site button so please click it and now you will be able to access uh, this plugin which integrates with Microsoft Word now we are going to use this software right here um, to add citations now let's say there is this paper um, okay titled dilemmas in the diagnosis of community acquired bacterial meningitis so dilemmas okay so we have this paper which is titled dilemmas in the diagnosis of acute community acquired meningitis it's a paper by the lancet and it's a really it's an amazing paper on meningitis it's one of the best i've read um, and i've used it a lot in my um, paper so we've previously talked about how to use google scholar and so you have this paper right now and you have the pdf blah 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 what we are in interested in right now is the site uh, button so let's click it here it shows you multiple formats we are not going to use these you would use these if you were uh, citing your references manually but we are going to use an even better method so let's click the button right here which says ref man or ref manager and it's going to download for you an ris uh, file so let's just click you know okay if it shows up and in your downloads folder okay you are going to see this um this folder which is scholar 4 okay so after that so this is basically a, a small folder which has the uh, citation information so you first want to add it to your library like we said this is our mendeley library just you know please ignore all of these these are many many papers uh let's assume it's empty when you download it your library will be empty so you want to add papers to your library so let's add this one right here just drag it and drop it alternatively you can you know you can use this import uh button right here import ris file you know ultimately it's really the same thing so you drag it and drop it and you have this um title dilemmas in the diagnosis in the um of acute community acquired bacterial meningitis uh, so this is the paper we've recently added as you can see it's you know um, it's the most recent one and then if you want to add this citation um, I've, I have this folder by the way you can create folders um, I have this meningitis folder which is a research I'm currently doing there is the, also this pancreatitis one but um, so basically you after you know you've added uh, uh, the, pa the paper here you just go to your Mendeley site and you specify which folder you are using or you can just say uh, you know all references and then write the title of the paper so dilemmas so as you can see the paper showed up alternatively you can also write the name of the author so you can say brou brewer right i think that's how it's pronounced so you know you have brewer he's wrote multiple papers one of them is this one so we have found our paper after searching for it here and simply you know if you want to add the citation in this place after this uh, sentence for example at the end you just put your cursor here click and then in add one citation so the citation is now added right if you go downwards until the end of the article um to the references place you will find it here so brewer mc blah 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 dilemmas in the diagnosis of acute coronary uh, uh, community acquired meningitis now by the way um when you are starting out none of the references will be there this whole area will not exist so let's just delete it what actually happens um is let's add a page break so you know as you are writing your article just uh, go through the text add whatever references you have you know you have here whatever you want to add find the paper let's say community gender differences let's say so you just find the paper add your citations one by one and keep doing that 
after you finish and by the way the amazing thing about the software it's is let's say we ha we want to add um three or four papers so no problem uh you can just keep clicking so we have chosen three papers and then say save changes and then as you can see <coughs> sorry uh, as you can see it adds the software and if you delete anything the numbers will be automatically adjusted so this is um, the beauty of this software instead of doing it manually which is a lot of work so after you finish your citations adjust them all and then um, go down where you want to add the the bibliography section so you go here you know you write the word references or whatever you know bibliography right you go down and you go here to the more button and you say insert bibliography and then continue and all of your references will be added so let's go to number one and number three as you can see you have gender differences um sex-based differences and the burden of theology of community acquired meningitis uh, so these are the references we've added if you adjust anything in your text automatically it will be adjusted uh, in the references section uh, now another advantage of, of this software or other uh, reference management software is that oftentimes when you are applying to different journals they will request different reference styles you know you have the APA, uh, APA the American uh, AMA the American Medical uh, Association you have the Vancouver the Harvard and it's really a, a lot of work to do all of that manually again and again if for every journal you want to apply to you will do all of this work and ag again it's it's a lot of time so instead of wasting that time you can just let's say I want to apply to a journal by the way the current um, citation style is American Medical Association let's say I want to apply um, to a journal that requests the American Sa uh, Psychological Association if you are writing a psychology article uh, which I've written by the way it's my first published paper um, it was in APA style so if I want to change my style to APA, APA what I can do is simply click this one and say update citation style now let's just before I do that let's go back to our citation and show you the differences um, so let's go to the to the beginning of the paper mm, introduction yeah okay so let's take a look here and see the difference um, so let's look at number five and four and let's update our citation style now see the difference the APA style it's not a numbered style it's uh, a bracket and author and date style so it it writes the the first two authors or et al and then you write the date um so as you can see all of the citations have been adjusted accordingly uh, if you add any new citations so let's say during the writing of your article you decide to import more citations and put them to your library so you do this process again you import them here and then simply you can update your library so as to resynchronize all the information together and then it will be visible in your search right here again um, okay so I've talked about the web importer and let's go back to Google Chrome uh, I've talked about this web importer right here which is um, install Mendeley web importer now just like the Google Scholar guys let's go back and see the Google Scholar button which I really really adore uh, just like the Google Scholar button Mendeley has a, a web importer right here I've already downloaded it by the way you can if you're using Chrome just go to the um, you know go to um, um, to the extensions you know to extensions and download um, the Mendeley web importer so let's say um, whatever you know let's say Bilal Aldrubino this is just the article I can think of right now so this is the psychological for example uh, skill article and the first way I showed you guys is downloading the RIS file you can like I said download it from here from the Google Scholar button or you can 
uh, because sometimes after you know 20 or 30 downloads using Google Scholar button, it will show you errors. I think this is because it suspects you're on a bot or something. So it's, 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 it stops downloading and it tells you error. Um, so you can, you know, download it manually from the journal page. Um, so if you click here, citations, you can download the citations, uh, the RIS file. Uh, okay. Now, you know, sometimes this is uh, difficult to find in different journal pages. So, for example, in Taylor and Francis and Cogent, you can find it right here. So, again, this is the RIS file for EndNote, RefWorks, Zotero, and also Mendeley. Um, so, sometimes, you know, it can be difficult to find, but anyways, you can download the citation. But another method now, coming back to Mendeley Web Importer, is simply to click this button right here. Um... I think I'm not signed in, so let's sign in again. Okay. Okay, so yes, another solution or a way to find your citations and quickly import them to your library is to click this button, which synchronizes with Mendeley. By the way, all of this is online. So your library actually of, of Mendeley and your citations are not on your computer. They are uh, on the server. Um, for Mendeley, which I think it gives you like two or three GBs of uh, storage space, which is plenty for most people. So I clicked this button. It took uh, some time, but now I have this paper. I can just confirm, you know, is this my paper? Yes, it's Social Psychological Skill by Adurubi and Hassan Abu Hayye. Um, so you can here click View PDF or Add. So let's add it to my library. Let's say I want to add it to whatever, to meningitis, but I'm not going to uh, because... Uh, it's not really a meningitis. Whatever, you can choose your collection, your folder, which by the way, you know, you know, you can easily create. You know, you can just go to collections and type here new collection. Let's say psychology. Okay, so let's close it and open it again. And let's say add. Um, oh, it takes some time, I think. But anyways, so you will find the folder. You can add it and it will be synchronized. Um, it takes some time, so let's wait. Okay, so it's finished. Let's come back to our library here and go to all references. And as you can see, the synchronization is already done. Uh, as you can see, here is the citation, social psychological skill uh, added right now. And these are the authors and the year. Now, why did I keep this for the last uh, part? Why don't I prefer this method? Because this method, unfortunately, is susceptible to some error. As you can see, the source, if you take a look, um, it's not, it doesn't show you the journal. It's supposed to show you the journal, which is Cogent uh, Social Sciences. This is the name of the journal. But you don't see that here. You see the, the, the address of the website. So this is um, <laughs> a mistake. Right, it's not really ideal, but if you now download the RIS file, um, so let's do that. Download site. No, no. Um, site. Download ref RIS file. Okay. Now let's again open downloads, refresh, take the this folder and throw it um let's close this one so we throw it now again to the all folder and as you can see the ris uh, folder is really really accurate it shows you all the authors the year and the name of the journal uh so this is why i prefer this method even though the web importer is is quite handy it's really nice, but I hope they improve it because sometimes it makes this, these errors, which, I mean, it's not deadly. Um, you can just, you know, adjust it manually, but it's a big headache. You know, why would you want to go here and, um, you know, edit um, this information manually? Uh, instead, you know, if, if just, you know, you can, you know, if you, you can write, you know, cogent, blah, blah, blah. But instead, you can just import the RIS file. So anyways, these are the methods. Another one, by the way, is simply 
to use PDFs. So let's go up to my folder we have Ruby, uh, articles, my research, social psychological skill. Another way, by the way, if you have a PDF, okay, so let's delete these two folders, these two files. And if you have the PDF of the article, which is this one, by the way, <coughs> so this is my paper, you can simply drag it and drop it here again. And it will upload it and I mean, I really like this function, even though I don't use it, but it's really impressive. Uh, so, it shows you the paper here. Let's just wait a little bit. So yeah, it's ready. And it shows you the information. It's really good. So sometimes, yeah, this is also um, a nice method to use. Or you can use this, but I don't think anyone ever does that. I mean, I've never done it. Um, you can just write things here manually, but why would you want to do that? I mean, the whole point of using this site... Uh, referencing software is to avoid manual labor. Some people may want, you know, may have to do that in cases of rare um, uh, um, references where, you know, you cannot easily find them online. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial. Um, many people have struggled with citations. I know I did, and this uh, tutorial would have been really helpful to me if I learned this information before. So thank you for watching and see you next time.